Hello everyone, welcome back to Town Time. Today we will be unboxing the uh, Loop Deck Live S. Now this is pretty much a small uh, device where you would uh, program buttons on here and it would perform a specific task. Great for streamers who use OBS to change scenes. Um, not It works with assortment of software, not just OBS. Um, you could use it to control lights if you have like a Philips Hue system. You can use it to play music uh, when you connect your Spotify account and you could program uh, these buttons. Um, I have a Loop Deck Live here. So this is the bigger brother version. Uh, same looking device, but less knob and less buttons on here. And pretty much as you can see here, I have a specific scenes on my um, OBS that I could just switch uh, at a whim. As you can see here, like I can switch to my main monitor here and I could switch back uh, here with a touch of button. Great for streamers, uh, but you could use it for a bunch of other things. I'll go through the software real quick, but I already did a video of this one. If you want to check it out, um, just go uh, search on my YouTube channel and you will see a more in-depth review of this uh, live unit with the software. So this is the Loop Deck Live S. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Like I said, it's a smaller version of it. And the funny thing is like, um, I'll, um, when you go to the um, website, um, you can't even buy it yet. Uh, as you, you see on the top here, it says Loop Deck Live S is coming soon. So I guess they're filling orders first for the people who did the early Kickstarter. And then after that, um, they'll release it. So you can't even buy it yet, but I think it will be soon um, on their website. But the live version is 269 but the S is going to be a little bit cheaper. So let's go ahead and take a look um, back. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So this it's a relatively smaller box as you can see. I think this is just like a shipping box. Um, I think there's a retail boxing underneath. So I haven't opened it up yet. So let's check it out. Yep, I remember it was like that for the live. So this is the Live S, smaller version of it. So this box, nothing. I'll toss that there. So this is the retail packaging. So a nice little retail box, black says Loop Deck Live on the sides. You know, um, got the UPC there. Loop Deck Live, let's open it up. And as you can see, here is the smaller version. So you still got the uh, 12 touch screen here. One, two, three. Oh, actually more. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five times three is 15. Um, you got 15 buttons here, actually, while the other one has 12. So let's go ahead and look at the differences first before. You know what? Let me um, finish the unboxing, then we'll go through the difference. And let's see underneath here, you've got. So you got USB-C cable, relatively long one. It's 90 degree here, pretty long cable. And then you got a USB-C here, but there's an adapter here that they included if you need to use USB-A, which is good. I like that. You got the quick setup guide where you download the software and what you need to do first. You got safety and warranty information booklet and the compliance information. And here is the stand so you could hook up in the back here. So I'll do that now just to compare the two. So I'm going to hook up the stand. Just clips on as you can see. So one thing about this stand that I wish that they would do is I wish it was adjustable. The stand is fixed so you only have a certain angle here, as you can see. So, um, I mean, it's at least it's still staying there, but um, it'd be nice if it was a little bit more, um, if it was an adjustable one. But yeah, that's everything in the box here, empty, as you can see. So this is everything you get. Instruction, instructions, cable, and whatever and <laughs> more boxes. So I'll get these out of the way. 
So comparing the two here, as you guys can see, so it looks like uh, the biggest difference is, um, so this one has 12 buttons here, and then you got the slider information here too, which corresponds to these buttons here for the live, and then you got these buttons on here. On this model, you don't get the side knob buttons as you see here, and you don't get the bottom, but you get, it looks like you get one more row of the touch button here, but you don't get the side buttons here, and you got two knobs here. You got this button here, that's probably like the home button, and these are like the page buttons. So that's, that's the difference between the two looking at it, and it's definitely a lot more compact. So it depends on if you like more knobs better or buttons. So it really depends on you there. But that's the main difference between the two units as you can see. Overall construction is plastic. Um, you don't have to use a stand if you want to put it down. They, they have rubber the rubber pads down here, rubber feet. Um, rubber feet down here on this one as well. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to plug it in, so I'm going to just use the cable that's applied. So uh, I'm going to show you the software. It's mostly default settings because I actually use this on my Mac for um, Final Cut Pro. So this one here is um, um, when you uh, when you uh, right now it's plugged into my. PC right now because I use my PC for streaming and for content recording um, but I yeah I use this mainly for uh, like final cut editing and when and and I wanted to get another one so I could have one hooked up to my PC so I could use it for OBS for both so okay I'm gonna plug it in right now So cables, um, let me move my computer a little bit. So the cable isn't in the way. Okay, so once plugging in, I already have the software installed because I already am using this. So once you plug in, um, it's already got default profile set up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the live away here because we're not doing a review on this. Like I said, I have another video on this if you want to check it out. So we're just going to check out the live S. And I'm going to um, get it set up here so that you guys can see here as I use the software how it looks. So I'm going to um, change scenes here. And this is the scene. So this is what it looks like here, guys. And I could probably route this cable a little bit better, but it's fine. And you know what, let me unplug it first. I don't know me, so this is, I find it better that you, if you route it like this, the wires could be a little bit cleaner. Okay, so I just plugged it in now. Okay, so. There you have it currently on right now and so pretty much this device uh, this is the default setting here um, this is the software that you will be using so let me go ahead just close uh, minimize this here and this is the software that you will be using to program the device so this is the loop deck software. So since I have two devices, you could change between, I don't have the CT, but I have the live here. And this is the live right here that I already have. Um, I have some of my settings here, as you can see. Um, like, like this is controlling my room lights here with the Philips Hue. And these are like all my OBS settings that I have uh, currently on this computer, but you can do a lot more. So this is, I'm gonna move back to the S here. So you can have multiple devices and the software will see it. 
Um, once you see here, you see basic profile. This is the basic profile that comes with the software. And as you can see here, you, it says uh, you have the profile, which you can create your own profile. So if you have multiple users or different profiles, you can create. Uh, dynamic mode on means if you have certain software that this, this unit is compatible with, when you launch the software, it will automatically switch the, so uh, the buttons on here based off the software. So um, like I said, I, I use this for my MacBook. I don't have any setup to show you, but that's what dynamic mode is. So say if you launch Adobe um, Illustrator and you have presets for Illustrator already, it will just automatically pop up on there without you needing to do anything, which is cool. So I use that a lot um, on my Mac OS uh, when I'm using Final Cut Pro and other uh, uh, software like Logic Pro as well. Uh, workspace is, if you want to use, um, if you have a specific workspace on the screen that you want to put on there, um, you can. You can have multiple workspaces under a profile, which makes things cleaner. Um, if you have, if you use multiple software and have a workspace for each one, and pretty much here, this is all the stuff that comes with here. So you got, uh, you got the shortcuts here. You could create shortcuts. You could create open applications on certain buttons, web pages, sounds, texts. You could set macros. You could do multi-toggle um, or dial adjustments. So you could do a lot with this device. Um, like if you want to open a specific web page, you could just um, say if you want to open msn.com, uh, right? and the web page is msn.com hit save it will save the, uh, the function down here and you just drag it over and if you notice on the lower left corner here you see it and once you hit the button it will load msn.com so that's how cool it is and it's not just web pages you could pretty much do that for um, application shortcuts, sound, text, or macros like you see here. So pretty cool. You could um, customize this. It's not just for streaming. You could use it for um, shortcuts or even uh, workflow. Um, it has, they have built-in OS functions here. So if you want to say you want to go to your control panel and um, you want to use, a, um, I don't know, you want to use your numeric pad here. You could click there, and as you can see on the lower left-hand corner, the numeric pad popped up, and you could just click it on here, and there's a numeric pad. So that one's exit there. So yeah, so you could do um, all these custom ones that's already uh, put. You could do control your volume, date and time. There's a lot of uh, um, things that Loop Deck already loaded up in here for OS. You could do media, play, next track, device navigation, keyboards. You could program keyboard uh, keys on this thing as well. Keyboard modifiers, media. You can even use your mouse to do clicks if you want. Click left, you could drag over here and then you have a button to click left. Yeah, so they, they, they thought about this um, pretty well. And yeah, so you could definitely you have you can have multiple pages as you can see here, and you could add some more as you can see here. You you also got loop deck device actions. You got here's the workspaces. If you make touch pages, dial pages, you could put it on here too. You've got OBS integration on here for your scenes or even Streamlabs integration. Um, you could Twitch is on here as well and Spotify. And there's other stuff you can get from the marketplace here too. Um, they're constantly added, adding new things onto um, this software. So you can download it and install these into Loop Deck software. And you can have presets, uh, workspaces, or, or um, other settings that you could use with your uh, Loop Deck. So yeah, it's definitely robust and pretty awesome. And these dials here, you could also choose and you know put your mouse click on the dial if you want or you could control the volume on here by going to os and going to uh 
media the touch you see this little hand here that means it's for the touch buttons and if you see anything with the dial here you can move it and that will control your volume for your um, for your system and if you could click here you could do not just it's not it's not just a volume um, changer you could also click down on it and have have uh, have it do specific things so you could use the volume as a knob and push down as a click so that's pretty cool there and this one here is just a launch center um, for the device here so this is the software pretty much in a nutshell um, they redesigned the software I think a year ago so it's a lot easier to use and it's really um, it's really easy to use when you're uh, making macros or or adding websites or things like that on here so so yeah it's a pretty cool unit guys um, this is a DS as you can see here um, it's a baby version of the live um, hopefully it'll be on sale on their website soon but that's pretty much the unboxing and the review of this product um, yeah if you're a streamer or you want to streamline your um, workspace definitely a cool device to have and yeah and it's it's really useful i f i use this a lot uh on my daily activities so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to show you this device on how cool it is so if you like the video please hit that like share and subscribe button and if you want to see anything else with this unit um, please go ahead and comment below and I'll, I'll make a separate video if you want me to go a little bit more in depth about it and like always thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace out till next time and stay safe out there guys